Joy in the city. Joy in your life. Joy in your family. And joy everywhere in Jesus' name. GCK Authority has announced the next level move. From the land of honor and integrity comes two in one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria. The Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022. A new level of Impact Academy for Youth. Young adults and professionals. Titled Recharge to Excel. December 27, 2022. At all 600 hours GMT. All broadcasts live on satellite, radio, television, and all our social media platforms. With Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Let's try something. Already we have listened to singing from the campus choir and the youth choir and tonight it will be your turn to sing. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Because tonight we are talking about Satan's defeat and the victor's song. How many of you are victorious tonight? Praise the Lord. Well, tonight I don't know when we are going to finish. Because the Lord has given us the victory. There is something to shout about. There is something to sing about. Because Jesus Christ is alive. And because it's alive, every negative thing is finished in your life in Jesus' name. Almighty God, we thank you today. We worship you because we know you are still alive. You are the one yesterday, today, and forever. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the one that takes every mountain away. Before you, Jericho walls will fall down. Before you, the champion of the enemies, the Philistine, he will fall in Jesus' name. Pharaoh will not stand before you. Mountains will not stand before you. The enemies will not stand before you. Nebuchadnezzar will not stand before you. Herod will not stand before you. All the enemies of progress, all the enemies of success, all the adversaries in our lives, they will not be able to stand before you in Jesus' name. You have given us the victory. There is something to sing about. There is something to shout about. And I pray that you will put a new song in the mouth of everyone tonight. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, instead of tears, there will be laughter. Instead of sorrow, there will be joy. And I pray that tonight, mountains will move. Tonight, all the enemies, they run away in Jesus' name. Yokes will be broken. Every work of the devil will be destroyed in Jesus' name. You'll put testimony in every mouth. Joy in every heart. Song in everyone. Do it, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I just pray. That now you'll open the windows of heaven. You will rain down your abundant blessing. Nobody will go empty under tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, where there has been failure, there will be success. Where there has been sickness, there will be healing. Where there has been oppression, there will be deliverance. Where there has been defeat, there will be victory. Everyone will sing. Everyone will sing. Everyone will sing. And the joy of the Lord will be our strength in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to give you a short message tonight. Because uh, there is going to be time for testimony. And there is going to be time for you to sing and shout and rejoice before the Lord. 
as uh, you have heard, we're talking about Satan's defeat and the victor's song. The Lord has given us the victory already. And all I'm doing tonight is just to remind you of what you possess already. In Romans chapter 16, reading from verse 20, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The God of peace, the one who has given you peace, the one that ordains peace in your life. The Lord that, the Lord that says there will be no trouble anymore for your life. He will make the devil, Satan, to be bruised under your feet very shortly in Jesus' name. In Revelation chapter 12, reading from verse 9 and verse 11. And a great dragon was cast out. The old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. If you are born again, the blood of the Lamb is a mark upon you already. The confession of your mouth is that you are covered by the blood of the Lamb. That same blood that cleansed you also covers you, also protects you. And you overcome the dragon, you overcome the devil, you overcome the old serpent Satan, you overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of your testimony. And they loved not their life even unto the dead you have overcome already. In Jeremiah chapter 15, Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 21, I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. You are delivered already. The destroyer will not destroy your life. Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12, reading from verse 23. In this place, we have the wonderful promise for the people who are covered by the blood of the Lamb. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two side post, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer, will not permit, will not allow the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. Do you know you are free already? The destroyer will not be able to touch you, will not be able to do any evil in your life. Tonight, as we celebrate the defeat of the devil, we are majoring on the song of the victor because you are the victor. I said you are the victor. Sister Victoria, brother Victor. Are you there? I said, are you there? Where are you? I am victorious. I will never be defeated. The devil is under my feet. The power of the Holy Ghost is inside me. The fire of God is burning within me. Witches will run away from me. The wizards will see me and run. Evil powers will be afraid of me. I stand, nobody will make me to fall. These signs shall follow after me. In Christ's name I cast out devils. I lay hands on the sick and they recover. If I drink any deadly sin, they shall not hurt me. For behold, he has given me power over all the power of the enemy. I will tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt me. 
For every tongue that is rising against me, I will condemn in judgment because I am a servant of the Lord. This is my heritage. I will call upon the Lord. He will answer me. I will tread upon serpents and the scorpions. Do you know? I said, do you know? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down. In green pastures. He leads me. I said, He leads me. He leads me in the way of righteousness. For His name's sake, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil, my cup, <laughs> my own. My cup runneth over. Surely, certainly, without doubt, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. That's why we're shouting. That's why we're singing. That's why we're happy. Because victory is yours already in Jesus' name. Number one, the song of deliverance. Number two, the song of conquerors. Number three, the song of triumph. A threefold song that the Lord himself is putting in your mouth tonight. In Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15. Reading from verse 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song unto the Lord. And make saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider as he thrown into the sea. Let me remind you of the story. The children of Israel had had a problem for a long, long time. Maybe you are there, you have had a problem for a long time. Never mind, the Lord has conquered for you. For many, many years, they were under oppression. They were in affliction. And the Egyptians were ruling over them. And eventually the Lord said, I have seen the affliction of my people, the children of Israel, the descendants of Abraham. And he said, Moses, rise up, go. I'm sending you to deliver the people. And eventually Moses came to the land of Egypt. He told the children of Israel, he said, the days of weeping, they are over. The days of sorrow, they are over. The days of oppression, they are over. It is not because of what you have, it's because of what he has. It's not because of who you are, it is because of what he is. It is not because of what you can do, it's because of his covenant with Abraham. And eventually he went to Pharaoh. He said, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, Who is that? Who is the Lord? And who are you, Moses? Who are you, by the way, to come and challenge me here in my territory? That's what those evil powers are saying. They say, Who are you? They say, What do you have? They say, Don't you know that the elders of the village, they have kept you in the cage, they have kept you in their camp, and they said, don't you know, you to come here to say, let my people go. I don't know that Lord. Go and tell him, I don't know him. And Moses went back to the Lord. He said, Lord, this man is not going to yield, oh yes, God said. I know he's not going to release you in a very simple way like that, but there will be the manifestation of a mighty hand. That hand is here tonight. 
the everlasting arms are underneath you. And the Lord is going to deliver you by a mighty hand. The first miracle took place and Pharaoh said that is nothing. He called the magicians. He said, magicians duplicate it. They duplicated it, but that was the last time. Because the serpent coming from the rod of Aaron swallowed up the rods of the magicians. They lost their powers. They are going to lose their power tonight. They will look for that power. They will not see it anymore in Jesus' name. Miracle upon miracle. Prodigies, wonderful things that took place. Eventually Pharaoh said, Oh, you can go now. I release you. They will release you. You will leave their camp. You will not be under their bondage. Every chain they have, turned, they have moved around in your neck, on your leg, everything is broken tonight in Jesus' name. Jesus breaks every fetter. All fetters in your life, all chains in your life, at the word of command, in the name of Jesus, they will be broken tonight. The chains were broken. And then Pharaoh said, you can go. After he said they should go, and they were going, the Red Sea before them, the mountains on their side, then Pharaoh thought, what came on me? Why did I release my captives, my slaves? Who will build our cities for us? How are we going to get cheap labor? After these people have gone, he said, chariots, horse riders, get up, we're going to pursue them. Maybe they are pursued till this night. Don't be afraid. He that is with you is greater than he that is with them. And eventually, the children of Israel, they were new converts. The way of faith was new to them. The way of prayer was new to them. All these miracles were very new to them. They looked back and they saw the Egyptians marching after them. They cried out. They said, Moses, see our predicament now. The Red Sea in front, the mountains on the side, we are trapped. We are within these people in their grip. The, the Egyptians were coming from behind. And then Moses said, look at them very well for the last time. The Egyptians you see tonight, you will see them no more forever in Jesus' name. And then Moses, he went to the Lord in prayer. He prayed, he prayed, he prayed, and God said, Moses, you are praying too much. You are talking too much. Don't, why are you crying to me? Why are you praying to me? The authority is in your hand. The authority is in your mouth. He said, me? Authority in my hand. He said, what's in that, what's in that your hand? He said, a rod. He said, stretch it. Everything will be over. And then he told the children of Israel, he said, children of Israel, we have the answer. We have the solution. The rod is here. The power is here. The authority is here. We have the solution here tonight. The sickness they couldn't heal in the hospital, the solution is here tonight. The oppression they couldn't deliver you from, the, uh, so the solution is here tonight. And so he said, here is the answer. He said, look at them for the last time. And I tell you tonight, look at your sickness for the last time. Look at the oppression for the last time. Look at the thing crawling in your body for the last time. From tonight, you will not see it anymore in Jesus' name. He stretched the rod. The sea parted into two. It had never happened like that before. A new miracle that has never been on record is happening to you today. It's coming upon your life. And then the children of Israel, without any fear, they had faith in God, they went through and they got to the other side. Don't you know you are getting to the other side? Nobody can hinder you. You are moving on to the promised land. Even Pharaoh will not be able to stop you. And then Pharaoh and the chariot riders and everybody, they thought, ah, 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 if, it, if you have gone through and the sea was still parted, it, they said it happened accidentally. It's because of the wind blew in that direction. We, it's for everybody. We too we will go in. And they went in and then uh, God said, Moses, the rod that parted the river, that same rod will bring back the river. Strike the rod again. And the Lord struck the rod, and then the water came upon them. 
And they were all gone. Egyptians gone. Magicians gone. Occultism gone. Sicknesses gone. Oppression gone. The yoke of the devil was gone. All the property of the devil sank and drowned in that river. And you are drowning all the property of the devil in your body tonight in Jesus' name. That's why they began to sink. If you are, will you not sink? When God heals you, will you not sink? When God delivers you, will, not, will you not sink? When God takes the yoke away from your neck, will you not sink? When the Lord takes failure away from your academic life, will you not sink? When the Lord puts laughter in your mouth, will you not sink? When the Lord puts shame on the devil, will you not sink? When all your enemies and the pharaohs and all the Egyptians, when they are drowned and you are now standing on dry ground and you are looking up and say, God, me, of all people, you have given me victory, will you not sink? That's why they began to sink. And they began to tell the Lord. They said, Lord, you are a good God. They said, God, you are a holy God. Look at it again in verse 1. They said in verse chapter 15, Then sank Moses. Even Moses sang. Moses, he sang. And the children of Israel did this song unto the Lord. And spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. He will triumph gloriously. The horse and his rider as he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is become my salvation. He is my God. I will prepare him an habitation. He is my father's God and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh, Pharaoh's chariot and his horse as he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. And then it goes on in verse um, 7. And in the greatness of thine excellency, as thou overthrown them that rose up against thee, that sentest forth, thou sentest forth thy wrath, thy wrath, which consumed them as trouble. Verse 9, the enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My Lord shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Verse 14, the people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold on inhabitants of Palestina. Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, shall take hold upon them. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By the greatness of thine arm, they shall be as still as a stone, till thy people pass over. O Lord, till thy people pass over, which thou hast purchased. That's the song they sang. And now, look at the most important verse in that song. The most important line in that song. Verse 18. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. The Lord will reign in your life. He will reign in your academic life. He will reign in your domestic life. He will reign in your social life. No enemy will be able to overcome you. Because in your heart, in your spirit, in your body, in your home, in your class, everywhere you are, the Lord will reign forever and ever in Jesus' name. That was the song of deliverance. The Lord delivered them, therefore they sang, therefore they rejoiced. The Lord is going to deliver you. You are going to sing and you are going to rejoice. Number two, the song of conquerors. The song of conquerors. In, Jew, in Judges chapter 5. Judges chapter 5. Reading from verse 1. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abinoam, on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel. When the people willingly offered themselves, Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes, I, even I will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Again, here, the children of Israel, they were in bondage. They were in their land. 
They were in the land of promise, but they were not enjoying the promises of the land in the land of promise. They were not enjoying the covenant that the Lord had made with Abraham. And uh, the Midianites were oppressing them. The different kinds of people were oppressing them. And because of that kind of oppression, they began to cry unto the Lord. This time, the Lord raised up Deborah, a woman. And then, Barak, a man. And Barak alone was not confident enough to be able to win the victory. And Deborah said, yes, I will go with you to the battle. But then, the glory will get to the woman. And eventually, they overcame. When they overcame, they joined together in singing, both Deborah and Barak, and said, Praise ye the Lord. You will praise the Lord. There will be reason for you to praise the Lord. You will look at the hand of the Lord in your life, you will praise the Lord. You will look at the subduing of the enemy, you will praise the Lord. You will look at the success he has given you, you will praise the Lord. You will look at the abundant provision the Lord has made in your life, you will praise the Lord. You will look at the broken yoke and you see your freedom, you will praise the Lord. You will see that your enemies are ashamed and God has given you the victory over them, you will praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel. When the people willingly offer themselves, then it says, Hear, O ye kings, and give ear. O ye princes, I even I will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when thou wentest out of Seir, when thou marchest, marched out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled. The heavens dropped, and clouds also dropped water. Showers of blessing abundance of blessing will be showered upon us and so they sank before the Lord and it says the mountains melted before the Lord is there any mountain before you is going to melt I said it's going to melt once the Lord comes into your life and you have faith in the Lord and you are putting your trust in the promises of the Lord the mountains will melt before the Lord even that Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel. In verse 12, awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake, utter a song. Arise, Barak, and lead thy captivity captive. Lead thy captivity captive. The things that have held you in bondage, you will capture them in captivity. Because already you are free. And then it says in verse 13, Then he made him that remaineth have dominion over the nobles among the people. That's part of the song. You'll have dominion over the nobles. The Lord made me to have dominion over the mighty. Dominion has become yours in Jesus' name. Now there's something here. I've shown you two examples of singing. Singing the victor's song. But you see the singing there, they sang after the victory. They had seen it, they had enjoyed it, they had experienced it, and now they began to sing. That's good, that's wonderful, but I want to tell you something more marvelous. That is, singing before the victory comes and singing yourself into victory. Singing yourself into deliverance. Singing yourself into healing. Singing yourself into triumph. That leads me to point number three. The song of triumph. The song of triumph. You see, many people can sing after the victory and come. But you see, already you have got the victory. Already you have got the healing. Already you have got the deliverance. And therefore you are singing. But the better part of it, which is the way of faith, which is the way of trusting the Lord. Is singing before the victory comes. And while you are singing, the Lord is walking. While you are praising the Lord, the mighty hand of the Lord is manifested everywhere. Look at it now in Second Chronicles chapter 20. Second Chronicles chapter 20 reading from verse 1. It came to pass this also. That the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them of the all on order beside the Ammonites came against Joshua to battle. 
Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee, great multitude against Jehoshaphat from beyond the sea. On this side, from uh, on this side Syria, and behold, they be in Azazontema, which is in Engedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed the fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Ask help of the Lord. If you ask from the Lord, will He give you? Ask and shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. How many people ask and receive? For every one that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. The door will be opened to you tonight. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And then the word of the Lord came unto them. In verse 15, and he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto thee, Be not afraid, nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours. The battle is not yours. The problem is not yours. The mountain is not yours. The conflict is not yours. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of seas, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of she Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle at all. Did you hear? Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. The Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord and worshipped worship in the Lord. And the Levites and the, of the children of the Kohathites and of the children of the Kohites uh, stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, are ye inhabitants of Jerusalem? Believe the Lord your God. Tonight, believe the Lord your God. He said he will heal you, believe the Lord your God. He said he will deliver you, believe the Lord your God. He said he will provide for you, believe the Lord your God. He said he will give you the expected end, believe the Lord your God. He said he will fight your battle for you, believe the Lord your God. He said the Egyptians you see tonight, you will see them no more, believe the Lord your God. He said I will be with you. I will never leave you. He will protect your life. When you call upon him, he said he will answer. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophets. And so shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that they should praise the beauty of holiness. And as they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. Every, every place they march, they just said, praise the Lord, his mercy endureth forever. The enemies were marching towards them, they said, praise the Lord, for his uh, mercy endureth forever. The people were setting themselves in array against them, they said, praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. The enemy thought, we're going to overcome them. They said, praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. The enemies were in their multitudes, large number. And Jehoshaphat's army was nothing to be compared with them. But they said, praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. They were singing to the Lord. And when they began to sing and to praise, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon, and of Moab and Mount Seir, which were come down against Judah, and they were smitten. You have got the victory already. 
I said you have got the victory already. That's why the Lord has put his song in your mouth. In Acts chapter 16, you know the story, I'll read it to you. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. And at midnight, the midnight of suffering, the midnight of sorrow, the midnight in the prison, the midnight of imprisonment, the midnight of affliction, the midnight of suffering. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners had them. And suddenly, that's how it's going to happen tonight. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaking. And immediately, all the doors were open. How many of the doors? How many of the doors? All the doors were open, and everyone's band were loosed. Are you going to be loose tonight? Set free tonight? Deliver tonight? Are you going to be healed tonight? Just praise the Lord in your heart and say, yes, I know he's going to do it. And while you are praising the Lord, while you are glorifying the Lord, he will begin to send and pour the blessings down. Let's rise up now. Just praise the Lord. Just praise the Lord. It's a song of victory. It's a song of the conqueror. It's a song of, the de of deliverance. It's a song of triumph. It is the song of the people that know their God and the people that know that God will never fail. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The victory has come. Deliverance has come. The healing has come. The Lord is on your side. He puts a song in your mouth. He puts a song in your mouth. He puts a song in your mouth. He delivers you. He heals you. He defeats the enemy on your behalf. Nothing to cry about. Victory is yours. Nothing to be sorrowful about. Victory is yours. You are covered by the blood of the Lamb. The promise of the Lord is for you.
Believe and you will be established. Believe and you will prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Already we have the promises of God that will never fail. And tonight, as the Lord has told us, He melts mountains. He breaks yokes. Chains and fetters He's going to destroy. And he has told us that all the problems and the Egyptians and the magicians and the occultic powers and the afflictions we we'll see tonight, we we'll see them no more in Jesus' name. And the word of God has counseled us and commanded us, believe the Lord and you will prosper. And he says, believe his prophet and you are going to be established too. As we pray together now, I want you to be very definite in your faith. That as you look at that problem, identify that problem, and then we pray here, the miracle is going to take place there. Let's bow the eyes closed. Lay your hand upon yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring all your children before you here tonight. And Lord, I pray, the walls of Jericho will fall before them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, all sicknesses, all afflictions that have been upon them until this time, they will be removed, they will be cancelled, you will heal them in Jesus' name. The young man there with the part, uh, private part of the body that is swollen, I command right now, that swelling vanish away in Jesus' name. The one that has a swelling in one part of the tummy over there, I command right now that the mighty power of God will touch you. That swelling, come out in Jesus' name. I'm asking for the over there with the ania. I'm asking that ania, move out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I'm asking for that one as if uh, the pain is uh, pinching you and pricking you. I command that that pain and that evil sin in your body, come out in Jesus' name. The one that has a problem in the head, and it will appear that when you're standing, you'll be dizzy as if you're going to fall down. And then you'll quickly hold on to something, though that you are not disgraced in the public. I command that dizziness, I command that problem in the head, come out in Jesus' name. 
I pray for that person over there that is having the running issue of blood. I'm asking, oh Lord, you touch that individual right now. Remove that evil sin in Jesus' name. I pray for this person that if you are going to stand up, the back uh, pain is so terrible, you'll be holding your back, and then you'll be bending a particular way before you can stand up and manage, before you can stand up uh, erect. I command that that pain in the back, that pain in the bone, will vanish away in Jesus' name. I pray for the person that has uh, the blood system that is not uh, really proper, and is giving you pain and giving you incessant sicknesses. I command right now, whatever it is responsible for that sin in your blood system, be healed in Jesus' name. I'm asking for that person over there that has a tuberculosis, and I'm asking that the mighty power of God will touch you. That tuberculosis, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for that person that's afraid that you, you have caught uh, that terrible disease of HIV and uh, they, have, they have said that you are HIV positive. And you have been monitoring yourself and you have that secret fear and you are pining away. I command that sickness. I command that disease. I command that thing they call HIV or AIDS. Come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray that you will touch them. You will heal them right now. And that thing will not be upon them anymore in Jesus' name. I'm asking for this person with a skin disease and it appears that the insects or whatever it is and the germs, they are eating away your skin. And I'm asking that the mighty hand of the Lord will touch you. The balm of Gilead will be applied on your body. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for this young man that has a venereal disease and when you go to the toilet, this will be terrible pain. And you are bearing that pain and suffering uh, in, uh, in quiet and in secret. I command that that pain, that venereal disease, will leave your body. Be healed in Jesus' name. As for this person that uh, you urinate about five or six times a day, and you have been wondering what is happening to you, I command that the mighty power of God will touch you. And that problem will get away from your life in Jesus' name. The person that is having the heat and the fever and the malaria and it appears that uh, you are not yourself. You are just managing. And you said, I've not been fine in this place. I don't know what is happening to me. I pray the healing hand of the Lord will touch you. The healing virtue of the Lord will pass through your body. And right now, every germ, every kind of symptom of sickness will pass away from your body in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I'm asking for that sister there that uh, the air of your head, you are very young, and yet the air of your head is uh, falling away. And it appears that you are even going to grow bald and say, man, I command that everything you have lost of the air will come back in Jesus' name. I'm asking for that person that finds it difficult to raise your arm because there's a terrible pain in your shoulder. And when you try to raise that arm, that arm will give you terrible pain. You cannot use that arm. I command that pain in the shoulder. I command that pain in the joints. Come out in Jesus' name. Go ahead and turn that hand right now. You'll know that everything is all right. Oh Lord, I'm asking, oh Lord, for this person that has a pile, and when you go to the toilet, the thing will be shooting out in your anus. I pray that the mighty hand of God will touch you right now. That pile be removed in Jesus' name. Operation is not necessary. The Lord is doing the operation right now. Therefore, Lord, I pray that your mighty power, you will touch that individual, and that pile will be removed in Jesus' name. I'm asking for these people that are still watching the bed at night. I'm asking, oh Lord, you will touch them. The watching of the bed at night will stop miraculously from tonight in Jesus' name. The person over there, if you eat a gari, if you eat beans, it gives you constipation. And you will not be yourself. You say, I cannot eat this one. I cannot touch that one. I command right now. That that thing you have not been able to eat, whatever is the allergy, will cancel from your life in Jesus' name. I pray for this person that is having the asthma. Oh Lord, I pray that you will touch this fellow right now. Before, if you don't inhale something, you'll not be able to breathe normally. And when that thing comes upon you, you'll be gasping as if you're going to die. And I pray that the healing hand of the Lord will touch you. That asthma will be cancelled from your life in Jesus' name. I pray for this person, oh Lord, they say that there are worms inside you. And uh, you have been, every time you have a trouble in your stomach, 
and uh, you have taken a purgative, you have taken a lot of things to be able to get rid of the worms, and they're still there. I command that all those worms and whatever is responsible for that attack in your life be removed in Jesus' name. I pray, O oh Lord, you will heal them in Jesus' name. That fellow that went for injection, they injected you, and since that time, the pain of that place of injection had been there continually. You saw the doctor, and the doctor said that, uh, well, it's uh, like that, it will soon go, it will soon go, days have gone, weeks have gone, and the thing is still there, I command tonight. That where that pain has been, whatever the abscess there, whatever the reason there, I cancel that thing from your life in Jesus' name. I pray for that person over there, uh, some time ago, a few months ago, you had mental breakdown, depression. And then it appears that you are still not totally free. And sometimes when you are talking, you miss uh, your, your speech and you say some things that people are wondering what's happening to you. And sometimes you are conscious and you feel ashamed when you are in the public. I command that that insanity, that epilepsy, that evil thing that is torturing you in your mind, in your brain, will vanish away in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I'm asking for this person that is under a spell, under a charm, under a curse, and it appears that they have put something upon you. And sometimes in the day you'll be seeing some figures that other people are not seeing. And it appears you are, that you are running berserk, you are running almost that you are going to be mental. I command that curse, I command that thing they threw upon you to be nullified and neutralized in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I'm asking for these people that have something walking about in their body. And uh, so even during the day when uh, it appears that uh, you are not sleeping, it will be like ants are walking all over you, and you will be slapping yourself, and you will be touching this place, touching this place, to kill an insect that is not there. All those things that are going about in your body, walking about in your body, I command right now, be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray for that person that has been hearing sounds. You'll be going like this, you'll hear your name behind you, then you'll turn back, there's nobody there. And you'll hear the sound here, then you'll turn there. You'll hear the sound, they want to harass your life. They want to turn you mad. They want to make a mess of your life. I command you, all that personality making that noise, be quiet in Jesus' name. All the attacks of the devil, all the affliction coming from the devil, I stop that attack right now. I stop that affliction right now in Jesus' name. I pray for that child that is from a polygamous family. And you happen to be a brilliant individual. And then the other children in the family of another mother, they are not as brilliant. There is jealousy, there is envy. And therefore, when you get back to school, you have been finding some funny, funny things happening, and you are not really yourself, and your mind is telling you that they are doing something against you, and it appears that uh, something is telling you maybe you will not finish. You will finish. You will succeed. You will overcome. Everything that has been done against your life, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I'm asking for that uh, lady there. It appears that although you are, you are grown up and you are of age, but uh, there are some uh, definite marks that happens to ladies once they become teenagers. And uh, now you are not a teenager. Now you are not even in your early uh, 20s. You are really of age. And uh, the normal sign that you should see every month, you are not seeing that sign. And you are worried that you are going about. And you are saying, how can somebody live like this, a peculiar person? How can this happen in my body? I command that your body will become normal. And whatever it is that is missing in your body, that uh, the normal thing has not been happening, I command right now, be normal in Jesus' name. And for that other lady, that a uh, part of your body that should develop and show that you are a lady. Uh, different from the man on the chest area, and that uh, thing is not uh, developing, I command right now, development will come upon you in Jesus' name. So that you'll not have to make up, you'll not have to pretend, you'll not have to add anything or whatever, I pray that the mighty power of God, the miracle working hand of God, will come upon you now, and you'll develop normally in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray for that person that uh, whatever you eat, you'll be holding your tummy. You eat now, in 30 minutes time, one hour's time, it is like you have not eaten. And you'll be terribly hungry as if you have been fasting for three days. That thing that they call ulcer. 
that is troubling you, that wants to disturb your life, I command that also be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for that person that has been coughing up blood and vomiting blood. I command that whatever is broken, whatever is damaged internally, be healed now in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray that any deformity there, deformity in the leg, deformity in the hand, deformity in the brain, deformity in the mind, deformity in the eyes, blindness, I command you blindness, you cannot remain there. I command that blind eye, open in Jesus' name. Deformity anywhere in the bone structure, I command the Lord will touch your bone. The Lord will touch your joints. The Lord will touch your waist. I pray be healed in Jesus' name. The families that are here and you have a problem with any of your children, I command the power of God on those children. I command that those children will be healed. They will be delivered. Set them free in Jesus' name. Families that are married and they are looking up to you for children, I pray that you will touch them. Give them children in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray for the people that have to uh, they change course today, they change course another time, and it appears that nothing is working for them. They take this exam, they don't make it. They take another exam, they don't make it. Oh Lord, change their destiny. Change that evil thing. I pray from now on, there will be no failure again in Jesus' name. They will be the head and not the tail. They will pass, they will not fail. And you will make abundant provision for them in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray that every attack will be removed. Every affliction will be removed. Touch everyone there, Lord. That all the requests that are presented to you tonight, and all through this uh, Congress, I pray that you will answer them in Jesus' name. I pray that immediately now, there will be a manifestation upon every brother, every sister, everyone here. And the mighty hand of the Lord that has worked in your life will continue to work in Jesus' name. Deliver your people, Lord. Set your people free, Lord. With a song of joy, testimony, triumph in their mouth in Jesus' name. I pray, oh Lord, they will not see defeat again. They will not be defeated again. They will move on from victory unto victory in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, nobody will live here empty-handed. The Lord will fill your soul, will fill your heart, will fill your body with miracle in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.